This here is the nervous system's flat man. Coming up to the top, here is the cerebrum. The cerebrum has a frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe, cerebellum, brain stem, leading to the spinal cord. Spinal cord. The spinal cord ends with the conus medullaris. And continuing in the vertebral column is the cauda equina. So this is cauda equina, and that ends as a point at the phylum terminalis. Then we have, of course, the various nerves. So the nerves coming off in the cervical region, each one of these is a cervical nerve. Cervical, cervical nerve, cervical nerve. Then where they come and intertwine here, this is the cervical plexus. Down here is the brachial plexus, so right and left brachial plexus. These leads to the nerves going to the arm. So we have the axillary nerve wrapping around, so that's the axillary nerve. <clears throat> we have the musculocutaneous nerve, so this is the musculocutaneous nerve. Then the nerves branch down and we have the ulnar nerve, same side as the ulna. Median nerve running down the middle and the radial nerve on the same side as the radius. Then in the thoracic cavity, each one of these nerves coming off the thoracic part of the spinal cord is known as an intercostal nerve. So these are all intercostal nerves. Then down in the lumbar region, these are the lumbar nerves. Lumbar nerves lead to the lumbar plexus. Coming off the lumbar plexus, we have the obturator nerve. So here is the obturator nerve. And then this is the femoral nerve going down the length of the leg. So again, that is the femoral nerve. Below that we have the sacral nerves. These are each a sacral nerve. They lead to a sacral plexus on either side, a sacral plexus, which becomes the sciatic nerve. So this is the sciatic nerve. Over here, this is the sciatic nerve. It goes down and splits into the common tibial nerve and the common fibular nerve. So again, the sciatic nerve splits into the tibial nerve, sorry, it doesn't have the word common in it, and the common fibular nerve. And that is